always need men like us. Our greatest barrier is our own fear. Our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. Yo, what's going on guys? This is Guitar Man for Series Z115, and we are here today with a Black Ops 3 Zombies Maps video. Big long title there. So, um, a post was put up on Reddit. Uh, this guy states that he is an intern for Activision. He hasn't signed any NDAs. He's not working full time with them. Um, but he wants to stay anonymous because it might harm his career, blah, 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 right? Um, now, he says all this information about the zombie maps that he's going to write about, that we're going to look at in a second, uh, is 95% accurate. Uh, let us be the judge of that. So, uh, remember, you know, take all this with a grain of salt. Um, you know, nothing is you know set in stone until Activision or Treyarch comes out and says, "Here it is. <laughs> this is the trailer," and uh, and 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 that's it. <laughs> uh, okay, enough said. Uh, he says the first map is called Zeitgeist. Uh, set in uh, steampunk Chicago, uh, the map features the advanced uh, movement capabilities, you know, like the thrust jumps and the slidings, uh, sliding, uh, or the wall running. Uh, that's going to be in the campaign. We already saw a video of that. Uh, you're looking at it right now. <laughs> um, it says all this acts as a gateway into Samantha's consciousness, uh, dreamlike, imaginary, all this other sort of stuff that I, I just don't think that they're gonna go into. Uh, like I said, if you want to read, um, you now if you want to read all this, uh, the link is gonna be in the description below for this Reddit. I'm just sort of doing the uh, the, the the weird parts or the parts that actually um, might make sense or is relevant. Um, now it's set in uh, Chicago. And um, you have four characters, not the four main characters. Uh, it says the four characters are nameless businessmen. Uh, think Mad Men's characters turned up to 150%. Uh, in terms, you know, it's like a 60s manly men sort of uh, a map. And they're running around trying to figure out why these zombies are here. Um, I don't know why they would even try to do that. It, it makes no sense at all. But I guess with the whole uh, Samantha and all this, is, this is just, you know... Uh, in their in their subconsciousness, and we're all just you know play things, and it's just a game. So yeah. Now map two. Now map two is presently untitled. He says uh, this is set in the Maxis Mansion. <laughs> um, I don't think uh, the ending cutscene for or Origins was a mansion, <laughs> but uh, we'll just go what he says. So it's set in the mansion. It's a very tight map, uh, just like Varuk to Shangri La. It's the smallest map on the disc. Uh, it's almost like Kino Der Toten size. Um, yeah, and this, you know, he says the map was previewed in the Black Ops 3 v reveal tra tra trailer. Um, I, I didn't see really any zombies in there, except if he was, if maybe he's talking about the little snidbit at the end. Uh, we didn't really see too much of zombies at all. Just maybe a second, you know, maybe less than a second of the zombie tearing down the barrier. But uh, he says uh, the playable characters are Dr. Maxis and three unnamed German scientists. Uh, the mansion acts as um, uh, a electronically fused lab. Samantha is a uh, uh, forced to, you know, undergo power uh, of things, I don't know, uh, but it, it really, it, I, it doesn't make too much sense, um, like I said, it's, it's, I don't know, it's crazy, I, I, uh, now you could tell by the sound of my voice, I really don't uh, believe any of the stuff he's saying, I, 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 I can't admit, though, before I say that, I can't admit that uh, we did get a picture where um, the zombie was, you know, in, you know, uh, in a suit, it looked like, and and the bottom of the screen, it, it was known to be Chicago. They actually figured that out. That it was uh, um, a, a early version, like like a like a, a main version of Chicago actually standing today. So that's the only thing that might be. Um, that gives leeway here, but I don't know why you would jump around. If there's four maps, I don't know why you would jump around. But anyway, let's let's move on with it. So that's the map two. Uh, map three is also presently untitled, and uh, it's set in a German village. This is the largest map on the disc. Follows the path of four German scientists uh, having uh, constructed a vehicle um, and uh, driven uptown. Uh, set as it takes in inspiration from the Silent Hill franchise. Uh, franchise, sorry. Uh, uh, lots of uh, Creative monsters, eerie music, uh, and sirens—you know, etc. Now, uh, 
what's with the crazy monsters? I mean, come on, the only monsters in here are really, you know, the zombies. So that's what leads me to think that that is, uh, that is not a map. But uh, let's move on to map four here. It's titled Nile, uh, set in around the pyramids. Now, we did uh, in the uh, teaser trailer for the Black Ops 3 when that came out, there was coordinates uh, going right around uh, Egypt. So this might have some leeway. It says you play as the four original characters, uh, Dempsey, Nikolai, Takiao, and Richtofen. Uh Niles is likely to return to the Black Ops 1 form. So, you know, just the standard way we know how to play zombies. Um... <clears throat> Like I said, this was a very uh, um, watered-down version of what he actually said, but I'm just hitting all the points here. Tell me what you guys think. If you think any of these maps can be related to each other, I don't know why they would jump from Chicago all the way to Germany, you know, uh, and then and then go to Egypt and and <laughs> and do all this kind of weird weird jumping around through time. I, I suppose they could do anything. They you know it's their game or it's their story, uh, but it doesn't doesn't make sense with um, the ending we got for um, for the ending of Origins, and it doesn't really carry on from there. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm Guitar Man for CDZ115, and I'll see you later.